Hey there, it's Bread of Booster Therapy back with another giveaway for the month of September 2020. This month we're going to be giving away a Tulane Brawl deck to one lucky subscriber. All you have to do, same as the previous months, is like and comment on each of our videos and come October we'll be picking one of those comments from a subscriber and giving them the Tulane deck. Thanks again for all of your love, all of the support, and enjoy today's video. Welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that pack cracking addiction. We are back once again, see if I can get this busted open, in, uh, in a nice little hunt, a nice little search to see if we can find any amazing things out of Amon Cut. So I think Brett did one of these a while ago. These are pretty uh, boom or bust, so... Let's see if we can get some mighty, mighty hits. I think uh, Anointed Procession is probably the top of your regulars out of here. Otherwise, we are looking for, let's take a look, Force of Will. I'm looking at my computer right now. is sitting at 300 bucks approximately, so that would be pretty sweet. So let's see if we can get that. But anyways, let's jump right into it here, folks. This is a patron sponsored box. This is for James. James K. Thank you, James, for hooking it up. And uh, we wish you the very best of luck. So let's uh, let's jump right into it here. Hopefully we can get something nice and golden right away. The other ones we're looking for in the uncommons, uh, right there. Uh, the monuments are very nice. Not all of them are extreme value, but... Some of them are pretty darn good. So the green one I think is so-so. Ronus's Monument. Man, this is a cool set to go back to, though. Alright, and we got the Sandworm Convergence. For the planes. And a token in the back. And what else can we get? We can also get uh, Damnation, Thoughtseize, Scarab God. All of these are possibilities. Got my dog rolling around for good luck. Hopefully that helps. Oh, she's sneezing now, too. Oh, double sneeze. Come on, dog. All right, let's see if we can get a good rare here. All right, fetid pools. It is a dual land. They are fetchable. Do not forget, they are fetchable. That's right, and they have these little um, kind of punch-out cards for the various abilities as well. This is kind of an early on thing that they did. But hopefully the day is treating you well. You'll probably either be seeing this on uh, Monday morning or maybe Tuesday morning. Again, shout out and thank you to our patron James once again. There's another really nice monument. Oketra's Monument. I think that's one of the better ones. And Mouth to Feed. Create a 3-3 Hippo. And we have the Chalice of the Void. Seb McKinnon signed play mat here. Part of one of the Kickstarters that Brett and I both took part in. I don't know if Brett got this one or not. This was one I was really excited to get. And... Ooh, it's going to be another dual land, if you will. The Irrigated Farmland. And a Merciless uh, Javelin Man. A Javelin Ear. Beautiful, that's our first foil. Put that off to the side here. We're still looking for our first mythic as well. So hopefully again, the day is treating you well. If it's not, I hope it gets a little bit better as we progress on through the week here. See if we can always get that little that little peek at the, uh, at the gold that lies in the back. Stir the sands into failure to comply. Ooh, there we go, and a sweet looking swamp. We'll uh, throw that in there as well, that looks cool. So many full art lands, the fart lands. All right, let's get a Kefnitz monument. Throw in all the monuments, just because they're cool. And pull from tomorrow. A cool little oasis looking land there. Very nifty. Get our bulk off to the side. But we've got Zendikar coming soon. It won't be far away. There's some allegations of some delays. I hope we don't fall uh, prey to that. But you know, you just uh, you just never know. 
All right, Hepatra, Vizier of Poisons. Get some poison counters going there. And the Shimmer Scale Drake. Just our second uh, foil at this point. I'm going to take a peek at the old, uh, the old computer here. I'm going to roll you around here. Apologize for all the extra bonus noise, but I just, uh, I'm right by the computer, so I'm just going to peek and see the other uh, invocations that we can get here. So you've got Force of Will, Scarab God, Damnation, Thoughtseize, Counterspell, Consecrated Sphinx, Blood Moon, Locust God, Omniscience, Pact of Negation, a lot of good stuff here. So I'm going to roll away from the computer now, try and give us a little bit of uh, inspiration there, see if we might be able to hit something. That would be sweet. Oh, nice, another monument here, Ronus's Monument. I think it's the second time we've gotten that. Ooh, there we go, Hazaret, the Fervent. Sweet, our first mythic, very nice hit. Oh, and right behind there, the Embalmer, the Honored Hydra, for a foil rare. Put you in the foil, or the regular pile there. And the Fartlands as well. Nice. Well, that was a really sweet pack. I don't know where uh, Hazaret's uh, sitting these days. That card used to be um, pretty expensive. That may have dropped off since. But Anointed Procession is the uh, big one that we're looking for out of the regular, just rare slot. Let's see if we can get there. Trial of Knowledge into the Glory Bringer. Everyone's favorite. Man, that thing was played like crazy at one point. It was just an absolute staple. Um, I don't play a lot of Historic, but is that now in Historic? Am I mistaken on that? A little out of the... A little out of it with uh, Arena Historic right now. Alright, reduce to rubble. Into... Dispossess. Very cool. Alright. So we've done a lot of Double Masters. Um, I will be releasing um, a patron special here very soon on some Double Masters and some other product for patrons that have been with us for, um, I'm going to say, six months or longer. are going to get some special pricing. So you'll see that it pays some dividends to be with us for a long time. And we have a Scattered Groves, another dual land. That is uh, three of them, I believe, that you've had. Don't know that they're worth a ton, but again, they are useful. They do have their... Their use. They're a little bit more of a budget type of land if you're going to play them. But they're cool. They're cool. Sensor. Edifice of Authority. And the Heart Piercer Manticore. Ooh, with a beautiful full art is land. Very cool. Alright, we're moving on to the middle stack here. A little bit of a crumble pack. Beware of the crumble packs. Let's get that anointed procession out of the way. Come on, baby. Ooh, another land here. Uh, indestructible. Yeah, pay five, add five of any combination of colors to your mana pool. Nice mana fixing there. Some cascading cataracts. This is a really cool card for your uh, kind of stack them up decks, your Voltron decks. Always nice to have stuff like that. It's very budget friendly. Those do not always have to be expensive, that is for sure. Temet, Vizier of Nakamundum Tum. Nakamundum Tum. Nakamundum Tum. I'm drunk, I'm losing it here. <laughs> Noctamun. We'll go with Noctamon. As you can tell, I did not play Amonkhet. This was definitely uh, something I skipped. I went all the way back to the uh, Onslaught and Urza block. Played for a long while and then took a, took a bit of a break for a while, as many people did at one point. The Dread Wanderer. Very cool. Zombie Jackal. But man, I'm excited to be back. It's nice to be back in Magic. Especially with Commander being a thing, even if it's not your thing, I'd highly recommend giving it a shot. It is very, very fun. A little bit of a weird cut on that. There we go. Another monument, Kefnitz Monument. 
put you right there. And destined to lead. Ooh, another myth mythic here. The combat celebrant. Uh, if it hasn't been exerted this turn, you may exert it as it attacks. When you do untap all other creatures you control, and after this phase, there is an additional combat phase. Very cool. And a foil mountain. So we've got double red on the mythic count here. Let's get that anointed procession, and then let's see if we can find some lovely invocations. A little bit of a weird pack here. This one doesn't want to open normal. Come on now. Cast out into Shadow of the Grave. Nice, creepy, creepy. Nice little creepy. And fling. I just want to take an opponent out with a bang. Missing the uncommons there, nope. Into the Drake Haven. Get to dump out some Drakes with a part land. Yeah, Brett's been doing quite a few videos here in a row. I'm, getting, I'm kind of in the process of putting my home up for sale, so I'm running a bit short on time these days. Into nice, Ronus. I think this is one of the top ones. I'm trying to look at my computer. I think I've got it a little bit off screen there. Ronus the Indomitable. Very sweet card. Really awesome mythic. Well, you're up to three mythics, and you got some... Uh, Pretty decent ones here so far. We gotta see if we can hit that uh, good old invocation here. Sometimes you'll just see it peeking around the corner. And Bounty of Blurriness. Bounty of the Luxa. Come on now. Show me that anointed procession. Show it to me right now. Cartouche. Oh man, and another one of the duels. That is, oh, and beautiful in the back. I think you're at four out of the five, I want to say. Yeah, not worth a lot, but they are cool. So I'll take them. Always cool to be able to fetch something up. And dusk to dawn. It's actually another very useful card, budget friendly, that you can definitely use. Well, we're getting toward the bottom here of the uh, middle stack. We are still looking to see if we can hit a glorious little invocation. I hope we can. Oh, well, this is another one of the good uncommons, I think. I think it's worth a buck or two. Lord of the Accursed. I'll put you right over there. And there it is. That is, is, that is spicy what meatball. Hear right now. That sounds like a spicy meatball. The anointed procession. Excellent hit. That is what you want to see. Oh, a little foily there in the back. Now we just got to see if we can uh, hit that darn invocation. Um, you know what? I'll settle for it for a damnation. I'm not greedy. Just a nice little damnation. Why not? Oh, nice! Another Lord of the Accursed. And Hezaret's Monument. Edifice of Authority. And Samut. Samut. Has Samut ever been good? I'm trying to think in all the different uh, iterations. Um, Samut, Voice of Descent. I'm not sure it's ever been uh, really considered to be a, a great card. They're always just a little bit underpowered. I like to see them crank up the power level there a little bit. Don't be shy about it. The desert. Deserts are cool. I'll throw you, throw you a desert as well. Bone picker. Into the pyramid of the pantheon. It's right on theme. Very much on theme. Come on, Invocation, where are you? Are you in here? You in this one? Come on, be there. Some of these are a little dinged up. 
Oh, there's the Enigma Drake. We've seen that reprinted. And there we go. I think we ran. We ran the gambit. We got the whole thicket of them. The sheltered thicket. Last of the dual lands that you were able to get here. All right, no more dual lands now. Now let's just focus on. Uh, I don't know. Let's get a force of will. I'm not greedy. All I want is a simple little force of will. New perspectives. And a fart land. Ooh, that one opened nicely. Hopefully that means it's good luck. Maybe a double up on the... Uh... Oh, I think I see something. I don't want to get my hopes up here. I think I see something there, guys. I don't want to get my hopes up. All right, we got a harsh mentor. Oh, baby, I think we have something here. Oh, what's it going to be? Come on, be there. <gasps> oh, what is it? Mamma mia, oh, it's, it's a spicy dark ritual. meatball. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. What are the odds, man? I swear I'm 50% on opening these. Dark Ritual. Uh, might be a lower tier. I don't know offhand, but that's... Uh, actually, that might be kind of middle to upper tier. That is an incredible card, and it looks great. Oh, we hit the invocation, baby. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, check that out. That is... Absolutely beautiful. Just uh, pay one black at three black. Man, that is sweet. We're going to put you right up there. You know what? Actually, let's put you right here, front and center, so we can see it. I just knew it. I knew we were going to hit it. I just had one Amonkhet box that I got at a pretty decent price, and these boxes have really gone up in price, so I think James came in at a good time. They're just fun to crack. You're not always going to get your money's worth with these types of boxes, unfortunately, just because the box cost is just very high due to some scarcity. Ooh, it's an Archfiend of Vifnir. But they are super fun to crack and uh, great for people to be able to watch. So much appreciated to James. I'm so glad we were able to get you an indication. That is truly a case hit. I think they're... I want to say they're about one in every six boxes, something like that, if that's even the case. Someone verify uh, for me in the comments. I think that is the, the case with how that works. Insult to injury. Man, oh man, well that is awesome. Sometimes you just got to go for it and hit the old, uh, the old invocation. <laughs> that's a painful lesson if you don't. And... Oracle's Vault. I don't know what else we're looking for here. There's still a number of uh, pretty good things. I would love to get a random double up on the Anointed Procession, though. That would be really sweet. Or an error box and give us a double invocation. I will also accept that at any point. Oh, I love this card. The Avon Mind Sensor. Did this get downshifted? Am I wrong on this? Maybe not. I thought at one point in the Tormenting Voice that it may have been... Uh, downshifted for some reason. Uh, just four packs left. Let's see if we can uh, get something nice in the close here. We are still at uh, four mythics, so we can definitely use another mythic here, that's for sure. And prepare to fight. And time to reflect. A little bit of both. It kind of fits our current world right now. Prepare to fight and uh, might need to reflect on things a little bit. Man, I'm still stunned. Stunned that we got another hit. Hezeret's Monument. Trial of Knowledge. And there is another mythic. The Cruel Reality. The Curses. And a beautiful looking swamp as well. Very cool. Alright, two packs left here for you, James. Regardless of the total and uh, you know the total value of the box, you hit an invocation, and that's all you can really ask for out of these. Absolutely sweet. Oh, all right, and you got the Glimp Keeper. Another Sphinx. All right, Amon Cat. Let's see if we can finish strong. 
So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all your love and all your support. We really do appreciate it. Let's see how we close it out here with a commit to memory. Commit to memory to like and subscribe on your way out. Awesome hit there on the uh, dark ritual uh, ritual. So absolutely fantastic. That is all I have for you My dear friends for now. This has been Patrick with booster therapy. You have a fantastic rest of your day